Lisa here from the library. We're getting ready to do our outdoor bubble painting and Mother Nature is not cooperating. It's very... We are having some internet issues as well. So maybe we'll move this over here to see if it connects better on that side. All right, so we'll give everyone a few minutes to get online. And for this, you will need we're going to do two versions. We're going to do a version with just soap and dish soap and food coloring. And there's also a version where you can mix pre-made bubble solution with paint. So we'll try out both versions and see which one works better. Hi, Laura. How are you and Marcus doing? Oh, it's a very windy day to try and do bubble painting. Um, yeah, so I have all my supplies here. I have some water, just some regular Dawn dish soap, um, some food coloring, I have some paint, I already mixed a few of my colors, so I have some paint, I have some bubble solution, some paper, there's also two ways that we can do this project, we can use a bubble wand to blow the bubbles onto our paper and make our painting, or we can blow bubbles into the paint with a straw and just push our paper on. So we'll try out both of those options as well. All right, so I guess it's time to get started. So the first thing we will do is let's mix our homemade bubble solution. So I'm gonna just mix mine in a muffin pan because it seemed easy to do it that way and hopefully the weight of it will hold down the spoon on the table. So the recipe called for half a cup of water. So I'm just gonna measure out half a cup of water into each of my muffin cups. Oh, the wind, maybe the wind will go away. All right, so half a cup of water. And you can make as many colors as you choose. Okay, so half a cup of water, and then it says a generous squirt of dish soap and it really doesn't matter what type of dish soap that you use. They say Dawn tends to work the best but I don't think it matters. You might just have to use a little more if it's not very bubbly. So we'll put a big squirt of our dish soap into each one of our cups that we had filled with water and now it says add 15 drops of food color. So I'm just going to do a few different colors here. All right, so we'll do some of that one. We'll do some blue. I made some pink earlier when I was testing. And this is a messy project because I already have paint on my pants and my sweater. So definitely a good idea that we decided to do it outside today. Okay, green and the food coloring just squirted everywhere. So, good thing I have my paper towel too. Alright. Um, oh, let's do some red. So I have pink, yellow, green, blue, red. I don't have much red food coloring. And that should be good. So then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of my wands and I'm just going to give them, give them a stir. I'm going to put some water in this thing so I can wash my wands in between so I don't mix the colors. All right. It is quite liquidy. So... No idea if this is going to work to tell you the truth. Who knows? bubbles so it works. All right so let's put that to the side. All right so 
our other option for making bubbles is you can just take a pre-made bubble mixture and I just again used another muffin tin so I just put my colors into the muffin tin and for this one it says you want three tablespoons of bubble solution and one tablespoon of paint so let's make one of those so we'll measure out three tablespoons of our bubble solution Of paint. Washable paint is probably the best choice, especially if you're going to be doing this outdoors when the wind's blowing because it's probably going to blow back on us. I have that feeling. All right. And so, so I'm just using regular Crayola washable paint. All right. So one spoonful, one tablespoonful of paint into our three tablespoons of bubble solution and we're just going to give it a stir and I'm very messy I'm always very messy I don't know how Miss Julie stays so clean when she does crafting projects so sometimes it takes a little bit of time to stir it if the paint is quite thick like this stuff was super colorful in my thing. All right, so the first way we're gonna try is with the bubble wand. And I think we should try the paint mixture first. So I'm gonna put my paper down in front of me. And I just have regular old white paper. And you're just gonna dip your wand into the bubbles and paint mixture and blow bubbles on your paper and see what happens. Oh, it made, that one made like a splatter effect. outside. My bubbles are growing everywhere. It's definitely making a cool splatter pattern. I'll show you the one here. Do some orange. I'm going to be painted by the end of today. All right, and then, so it's more of a splatter. I did get a few bubbles to show up. So let's see, maybe I'll switch wands and see if one of these other wands is better. Some of my paint has gotten quite thick as it settles. our homemade bubble mixture. I have high expectations for this because it seems very nice and soapy. Oh, the bubbles are good. You could just get them to hit the paper. Maybe I have to hold the paper up in front of me. Oh, it's a very abstract art. We've just been blowing, blowing the bubbles on the paper and making art. So 
So our other option is if we take our straw, we can blow bubbles into our mixture. I'm going to do the one, the homemade one. And bubble it up really high. See if we can get it to go higher than the muffin tin. Can you see, can you see my big, my big thing of bubbles? And then it says you can just tap your paper into the bubble mixture. And it will make it slime. Oh, I think I used the wrong end of the straw there. It was a little soapy. There you go. Bubble artwork. I think I like this one. I think this one is easier. I'm going to go over, take my straw over to the other side and try the ones we mixed with paint with the straw. But I'm going to be very careful that I don't get any of the mixture in my mouth because I do not feel that paint would taste very good. bubbles. I really do think that the homemade bubbles seem to work the best, which is a good lesson to know. So that was our crafting activity for today. Thank you for joining me. Next Friday we're going to do some fireworks painting. So for that you're just going to need um, some toilet paper or paper towel tubes, some scissors, some paint, some paper, a few paper plates, and some glitter if your parents say it's okay. So I'll see you next Friday. Have a good week.